<laughs> the coronavirus of 2020. How has this impacted me? In all honesty, uh, this isolation, um, this time having solitude has probably changed my life forever. Like today, you know, I just, it's a Sunday. I told Alyssa and I was like, hey, if you don't mind, we're gonna go film some things. I wanna do this like little mini mini documentary. And she was like, okay, it's completely on board. And so like here we are, like I said, going down to Nashville, gonna take some pictures, gonna get some shots in. And it's just about doing the work. It's just going out there, going outside your comfort zone and just doing it. And despite what anyone else thinks, like if there's maybe cars passing by, like at first I would get nervous, like, okay, put the cameras down so they don't know what we're doing. But it's like at the end of the day, someone may see you for a split second and then that's it. They're never going to think twice about it. They're not gonna go home and be like, did you see that guy? He was recording himself and how awkward was that? Like that, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> no. The coronavirus of 2020 was without a doubt the best thing that has ever happened in my life that has changed it in a, in a positive way that probably wouldn't have happened if I didn't have all of this time being isolated. So what are you looking for in these shots? I'm trying to get the angle, the symmetry, 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 cemetery. <laughs> Symmetrical. I'm trying to get the symmetrical point for the for the shot to like of the car. So like from the headlight, it puts a straight line going through to so come this way. And the biggest thing that I can I have learned from this was simply to chase after your passions, to dive into the things that bring you happiness, to dive into things that ultimately have a beautiful reward in the end. The biggest thing with me is, is I've always been into filmmaking. I've always been into videography, photography, and cinematography, but it's nothing, it's, it's, it was never something I actually chased after. Has this coronavirus affected you uh, personally? It's definitely brought in a perspective for me personally, just because I love to watch movies and I'm a homebody and like to watch TV, but it also makes you realize that everything you do have in life and doesn't really matter what house, what kind of car you drive, as long as you've got, you know, your family and you know, your family safe and, you know, you just move forward and do what you can do best. Now we just got done um, taking side shots. So now we're going to take one at the front. Same process, going to take some lows, going to take some highs. But I'm probably gonna like the higher ones better because you get more of the um, the city in the background. So, let's see how these turn out. We were never meant to do this life by ourselves. We were never meant to achieve great things by ourselves. Isolation has created a type of perspective and mindset for myself that involves simply that no matter what happens to you, no matter what you go through, no matter how old you are, I personally believe you will always find yourself coming back to the things that bring you happiness in the slightest ways. You're gonna find yourself coming back to certain ideas, certain things you might have done as a kid. So with this shot, so we got the first one like this sideways. And we got a straight shot of the car, and we got one with the back end. Now we're gonna get one of it being over the tracks. And the cool thing is, come over here. <laughs> so obviously we have unevenness here in the rocks. So we're gonna loosen these rocks up, make sure the cylinder is pretty straight for the most part, and we're gonna get through the shot. Cinder block. Oh, sound. <laughs> Cinder block. That's what I meant to say. So, we can get the shot. What's going on, guys? Caleb here. Uh, I make videos. I make videos. I make content. I do content creation for YouTube, uh, Instagram, all these platforms. And having this time 
of, of four, two to four weeks of, of being isolated and, and doing essentially whatever it is you want has, has changed my life. It has impacted me on a deeper level than probably most people think. It has changed the way I see things. It has opened up avenues and different just opportunities that I probably wouldn't have fully been aware of if I were to still be working. So we're just driving down and you know, like things with photography, it's one of the things and you know, today, obviously we're in year 2020 and it's something that almost anybody can do. Anybody can just take their phone out, you know, their iPhones and their the latest Androids. Like the camera qualities are amazing. But I think what separates anybody from taking a picture is what every, everybody does in post. And post meaning like the editing process. It's like anybody can take a picture and anybody can just throw a filter on it, you know. But it's what you can look for. It's the small details. It's the little objects in the picture, the framing. All of these things playing a role in how good your videography and photography skills come along. And so me, me doing this, going to Nashville or going to these different locations is just trying to get better with techniques and get better. Like the camera I'm using right now is 500 bucks off Amazon. Like it's not expensive. It's like the lowest, best, budget possible camera you can buy that can do 4k at 30 frames and i believe this is mag tips and um it can take pretty decent pictures but what separates me from someone else is like you know what i don't need a three thousand dollar camera right now because if i can if i can learn to use a 500 hundred dollar camera to the best of its ability and then when i get to a level of being able to afford something like a two thousand three thousand dollar camera all these skills I've learned with a $500 camera is gonna transfer over into something like that. And so like a lot of people are like, man, I need this, I need that. It's like, no, you just need the, the just the smallest amount of resources, a camera, a phone, some lighting device, and then go with it. So how has uh, the coronavirus affected you uh, work-related? So I know you're in the fire service, obviously you're my dad. So just tell a little bit of people about how that's impacted your, your working environment. Well, since the, Corona thing impacted us uh, in the fire service. It's definitely changed how we go on calls and how we respond to certain things. Um, I mean, in the fire service, we don't stop going because people still have emergencies. However, um, on medical calls and with the new protocols coming out every day from the organization of how we go to calls and how we interact with people, um, the biggest thing was just that the guys and the crews kind of knowing, being a little skeptical about trying to do our jobs and help people, but yet still maintain safety for ourselves. That way we'd be safe going home to our own families. It's just with new policies coming out, it seemed like daily for the last several weeks has been quite taxing on the department. But overall, it's, uh, you know, we still do what we do. You know, the tones drop, we go and we go help people and do what we got to do. So we just finished up there uh, at the little gravel spot by Nashville. And like, as I was explaining earlier, you just have to go out there and do it. Just go out to a location, no matter what's going on and just record. So luckily enough, my girlfriend was happy to help me out here. Like just at least find someone, one of your friends, like, hey, and if you have to pay them to help you, pay them to help you. But like with her, she has a little bit of video experience, but you know, like someone, or anybody who's trying to capture a moment, you guys have like all the details, the shots you want to get, and you just help them, help them to figure out how you want to line up the shot, bring them, involve them in what you're doing. So, you know, this wasn't her idea, so she didn't have any ideas of what going into this, but I asked her like, hey, what do you think about this? Should I do this? And it involves that person that's helping you, so it doesn't make it seem like you're just out here by yourself, you're being bossed and you're doing this. Like, ask them questions, and they'll be willing to suggest a few things, because, as creators, anybody, sometimes somebody may have a better idea than you. They may have a better shot in mind. And so it's just trusting them and trusting their inputs and maybe they saw something you didn't and it's just trusting the process. So I believe today's little shoot um, video went well with, with the car over there and um, we're gonna see some pictures of it later. And I'm just this is just what it's all about, going out there and doing what you gotta do. Currently, I am actually going back to work, but I did have um, from March 24th just until a few days ago, until like uh, April 14th of, of having whatever free time I've wanted to have. And so 
the biggest thing with me is, is I've always been into filmmaking. I've always been into videography, photography, and cinematography, but it's nothing, it's, it's, it was never something I actually chased after. It was nothing that I actually became an expert or became halfway decent. You know, I, I made the videos back when I was 11, 12 years old on YouTube, back in my video gaming days of, of recording myself, you know, playing Call of Duty, you know, post it on YouTube. And optic, or I'm trying to claim I'm an optic, I'm trying out for them. And by having an optic in my client tag, it's something that I'm gonna be doing now and to have an optic or OG, something like that in my client tag, because I'm aiming specifically at optic gaming with my montages, with my commentaries. I'm aiming at them because I wanna be a part of them, you know. I want to actually be doing and the reason why I want to be doing this game is so you guys can really get a, a, a good feel of who I am and kind of what my personality is and what I kind of bring to the to the table for my channel um, you know when it came with YouTube and you had to create a channel uh, a, you know channel panel art for yourself and then I never wanted to outsource any of my material I've always wanted to create it so I learned Photoshop and you know learning graphic design and how to create logos and typography and all these things that involve you know creation this all started when I was young and growing up as I get older I'm realizing like we have to become good at something we have to become an expert at something we have the way I look at it is you have a, a, a piece of pie right you have a hundred percent of a pie I'm right split down the middle and this is just my way of looking at things this is not you know the only way but like you have 50% of your work life you have 50% of the things you do that creates income you have money for yourself for you to buy things pay bills or whatever that is and if you can do something in this area of something you enjoy doing it's a huge benefit and especially to even a bigger thing if you make decent money doing this something you at least appreciate doing the other side of this is your passions things that are actually deep down inside of you i'm a firm believer of of believing that passion isn't actually something you find it's something that's actually been in there the entire time but you just have to open that door all right so i have casey here obviously you're my sister and uh how has this coronavirus affected you um relationshiply with your your boyfriend um your friends and i know you're in school um so what, what is what are some things that you have thought about during this coronavirus what are some things you reflected on definitely making sure to check on your friends i know that with mental health, you struggle obviously with isolation. And it's like a lot of people, they like to go out and distract themselves, but while being alone and obviously in quarantine, like you should be, it can be lonely where like you're in your head. So I just think, you know, it's really important to check on your family, you know, like your friends who just like, maybe things aren't going good at home or they're just really stressed out. You know, obviously there's a lot going on in the world, but I think that's really important just to be there for one another. So what's, what's one thing um, positive, positively that you have done uh, in your personal life that has been a benefit from this coronavirus happening? Definitely having the time for self-care. I think it's really important to sometimes, you know, take time for yourself. A lot of people get caught up, you know, in constantly going and going and like doing things, but it's really nice just to be able to like, be like, okay, I'm gonna stay home. I'm gonna make myself something nice. I'm gonna lay outside, I'm gonna read a book. It's like, your mind really just thinks like, okay, like what am I gonna do? Obviously, cause you're stuck at home, but you can also make those things really productive and it's just really good for the soul to focus on yourself sometimes. So we just finished up shooting the car and um, that's basically all we got. So we got shots of the car going slanted, backwards, over the train tracks and I'm super excited about how we're gonna go. Super excited to work on in the post. We're gonna see how it does. Thanks for Alyssa for being behind the camera and getting it all shot. So, see you later. This quarantine happened, what was the very first thing I started finding myself doing? That was filmmaking. So since this quarantine has happened, I've created seven, six videos. I've created three little short films of me just trying. And these are things that I have never would have actually probably fully done if I didn't have this time alone. In doing this, I've been staying up to three, four in the morning learning about it. It's funny because I actually made a video on one of my Facebook pages talking about we have to take advantage of this time because you you have one or two options during this quarantine. You, the, one option is just to be lazy, enjoy this time. I guess it's a free vacation for some people. You're getting paid for it, but you can use this time to be lazy and sit back and not do anything or you can use the other side and use all this free time that you're given, I mean weeks 
or weeks and weeks of free time to learn a new skill, to develop further skills, to um, connect with people um, socially that maybe you didn't, you know, maybe you've been needing to catch up with. Like, take advantage of all this free time because in the end, you're gonna when when everybody has to go back to work, you're gonna have the people that kept up the same attitude. You're gonna have the same people who kept up the motivation to keep going, and they're gonna continue to aspire when when things get back to normal. And you're gonna have the other people who are just being lazy and didn't want to do anything, who are gonna seem like they're gonna be behind everybody. And so I, I encourage everybody to take advantage of this time. And so the biggest thing I did was dig straight into filmmaking because. It's something about creating videos and creating that story, you know. I'm just now getting into it. I believe that um, this is really what I feel like I should be doing with my life and is, is telling stories, um, putting people on camera and, and just showing their best selves. And it's something so beautiful. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy the grind of learning photography, learning, uh, learning videography and how much lenses and filters and cameras and aperture and, you know, focal lengths, like all of these things I have no idea about. And quite honestly, they're intimidating, but like I say, man, it, it, you guys have to stay consistent and stay disciplined is the biggest thing I teach, whether it's staying fitness or working out, whatever that is, I mean, it, it, you have to stay disciplined. Da-da-da, I see, da-da-da, da-da-da, yeah, likes it.